By the way, congrats on the uh, IKEA Christmas advert. Oh, that's not me, TGV. That's my cousin Hubert. Oh my God, there's more of you. Oh yes. Besides, my rapping skills are not as dope as, as let's say, his are. Wait, 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 wait. You rap? Oh, of course, darling. What What do you rap about? Well, champagne, eating humans, the Rex life, baby. You know, and my main squeeze. <laughs> Your main what? Tiddlywinks, the Triceratops. She's simply divine. Uh, okay, okay. This is this is definitely getting weird now. Here we go. Listen, TGV. I've got an idea for a video. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's hear it. Why don't we do? A mean comments reaction video. It's all the rage with the plebs on the YouTube. No. Don't be such a spoiled sport. It'll be awfully good fun. Thanks, Hugo, but no. Oh come on, darling. You know me. I like to keep it positive. It's not really my style. Not really my thing. But it'll be frightfully funny watching your common little face react to people making fun of those fine wrists of yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could talk, mate. See, you're laughing already. What do you say, old boy? Let's have some fun. Okay, fine. I'll do it. All right. Oh, huzzah and hurrah! But listen, Hugo. If I film this, you agree to leave me alone until after Christmas, okay? Oh, absolutely, darling. I'm in dire need of a holiday anyway. Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. Today, something a little bit different. I'm going to be reacting <laughs> to some of the meanest comments uh, posted on my channel, just for a little bit of fun. And in a moment, I'm going to be giving away yes, the turtle, the mini turtle. You know, I bought it to review, and then I was thinking, well, I think somebody out there deserves to win it. So in a moment, I'll announce how you can win this piece and I will include a copy of Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. This book has helped me no end in life and this was written like a personal uh, journal during his campaigns. It's timeless advice so I'll include a copy with that. I'll do a quick wristwatch check. Guys, I, do I even need to do a wristwatch check anymore? I'm wearing the Squilo 30 Atmos, you know, I haven't really... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing anything else these days. As you guys have seen in the review, this is a very, very special watch. I'm not going to read out surnames, um, but this first comment is from Paul, and he says, Just tried watching uh, Teach of You again. Can't do it as he is so pompous. Trying so hard to make something of himself, he is clearly not. Ooh! Ouch, cat noise. Okay, the next comment is from somebody named Luke Skywalker. Uh, he wears makeup because he is a soulless Freemason who bet it all on his on this materialistic world that we only pass by. Interesting. Um, and that was, what video was that? Okay, that was on the review of this. Well, you know, I review watches and they are well, they're, they're material objects, so I mean, um, sorry, I, I can't. <laughs> Soulless Freemason, that's that's very. Oh, and I don't wear makeup, by the way. <laughs> Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Okay, the next one is from user user Naimi. Oh, username. Clever, very clever. Um, he says deleting your channel would improve the internet experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that is, oh, that is a, a jab, right? Oh, good one. Very good. Very good. We got Luke Skywalker again. Wow, Luke Skywalker, really, again. Uh, he goes, okay, you are a Satanist. <laughs> you are a Freemason fan. I, I'm not a Satanist. Well... <laughs> For a Freemason, no, it's it's uh, family signaling. So, uh, but e yeah, easy mistake to make. So, name surname, another creative name says, what the expletive is TGV? 
Yeah, what is TGV? I, I don't know. Uh, no, it's, it's my initials. It's like um, family tradition. It's, uh, so my grandfather was uh, GHW, TGV, and also because my name's predominantly Italian, some people can't pronounce it or end up pronouncing it wrong, so I just go by TGV. Also, my name's very, very long. Uh, actually, I have four names, so you see what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, okay, next one. This is from Peter. And he says, uh, 45 seconds, that was all I could take of this fluffy piece of excrement. I'll just, I'll just say excrement. What a expletive. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Peter. Oh, well, you mustn't be so sensitive, Peter. Give me a chance, go on. Um, no, but thank, thank you for watching anyway. I, I do appreciate it. Okay, next one is from uh, John. He says, nobody's ever heard of Squale. Get expletive. Um, well, if you're not into divers, probably not, uh, but they do have a great history and heritage um, and obviously 60 years. Okay, next one is from McFarlane. He says, look, I'm not wearing a girly looking size watch. Uh, is that you or me? I don't, well, probably, probably, probably you because I have tiny wrists, as you guys know. So, um, okay, next one is from Sneaky Gypsy. I'm betting that's not your real name. Intros are so cringy for me. Oh, well, I'm glad I, I spent three days filming and another four days editing. No, it's fine. It's, uh, so, some of my intros are not for everybody. Um, I love having, I really do have fun making them. Um, but I understand, you know, it's, it's, you want to watch the, 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 um, the review. So it's, it's understandable. Okay, next is from Don. I'd rather move to Ohio. It's much like the UK, but has much less crime. Philadelphia has a very high crime rate. Uh, yeah, it does. Um, yeah, nowhere's perfect. I love Philly. I, I, I adore it. I'm having a great time here. The history um, is, look, there's crime anywhere. There's Crime could happen anywhere. Okay, next one is from Jay. He says, why do you pop your collar? It looks ridiculous, just saying. It's funny, you know when people insult you and then they say, just saying, right? I've never really understood that. It's like, oh, you're, you're, you suck, just saying. I don't understand that. But anyway, um, oh, he's talking about the collar on the, on my, on the, um, the Avenger, the B13, no, B315 jacket. It's actually, it's actually purposely built like that. I can't do anything about that. It's part of the design. I like it because it keeps you warm and it has the hood embedded if you, you obviously missed the review, but it's, it's supposed to protect you from the elements. Arctis who made it, they supply the SAS, the Metropolitan Police, a lot of elite military forces around the world. So they know what they're doing. But I, yeah, if it's not your taste, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, this is from Ice Cube. Interestingly, I don't think it's the greatest rapper of all time, in my opinion. Big Ice Cube fan, by the way. He says, you couldn't pay me to wear this, sorry. <laughs> oh, that is mean, that is mean. It's okay, it's okay, more for other people, right? Tiger Tiger says, stupid, ridiculous intro. <laughs> Which one is he talking about? Oh, Seven Mistakes. Yeah, um, that's Hugo. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about Hugo. He's, he's, um, he's, he's just Hugo, you know? <laughs> oh, come on, darling. Glenn such and such, I'm not gonna say your name, says, main reason why I don't wear a Rolex lately is everybody here thinks if you wear one, it's fake. Because why would normal working man buy a 10k watch and drive an old car. Everybody's different, Glenn. Um, what you choose to spend your money on, you obviously have different priorities. Living in cities, as I always do, I, I don't have a priority for a car, but obviously I enjoy watches more. Um, I do get what you're saying about people thinking your Rolex is fake. I've never had anybody think my Rolex is fake. Well, not that I knew what they were thinking. I've had people ask me if that Rolex is real, which is really bad form. Uh, you, 
we should do a video on how to answer that. Guys, how would you answer that question? Don't worry about what other people think. If, if they think your, fa your watch is fake, who cares? I wear watches to please me. Uh, you obviously care what other people think, judging by that comment. Each to their own, each to their own. But that's what makes life great. If we were all the same and we liked all the same things, it would be really, really boring, wouldn't it? Next one is from Georgie and he says, You've never had a hundred thousand dollar watch, and sadly, you never will, you punts. <laughs> um, I, well, Georgie, I mean, oh, um, to be honest, I don't, I don't really want to have a hundred thousand dollar watch. I mean, that would be nice, um, but I. I'd be scared of wearing it. When I wore the uh, the Patek, uh, the World Time, with the Cloisonne dial, it started raining during the, the film shoot and I was running to get under, I was running with the watch like this. I was absolutely petrified because it's not my watch, obviously. That's not really my goal. I don't think I'll ever get to a $100,000 watch because I will probably uh, buy and experience a hundred thousand dollars worth of watches first unless well you never know I don't think I could have so much value in, 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 in a watch and as for you ponce oh oh Georgie Georgie why so angry um, talking of angry this next one is from Derek your personality seems counterfeit oh that <laughs> uh, I mean, really, shut the F up, you absolute damp, absolute damp wash cloth of a person. What an extraordinary insult. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you think so. I, uh, I have to give you credit though, that is quite a creative uh, insult. I've never been called a damp washcloth before. <laughs> So anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, I want to end on a positive note. It's no secret that the internet can be a toxic environment, guys, but, but never dwell on it. Never let the unhappiness or meanness from other people bring you down. Uh, it's so important to rise above it and not to engage and not to drag yourself down to their level. I think that's the lesson here. Uh, it's so important to be positive because just like positivity can spiral upwards and take you upwards once you start being negative and having this kind of negative thinking, it can have the opposite detrimental effect. And once you change your, your, your attitude and your opinions, your whole life will change. And that's why, you know, going back to meditations, that really has helped me. And also my own struggles with health. I've learned to be thankful for everything I have. And, and you know, life is a struggle. Life is still a struggle. Uh, it, it never gets easier. It, it seems to get harder, but we must fight on. The overwhelming majority of emails and comments I get are positive and inspiring. I think it's important to help each other, to inform each other and to motivate each other. We are so fortunate to have this wonderful internet, this limitless supply of information at our fingertips, more than any emperor or king or, 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 or wealthy person had, you know, 50 years ago. We're so fortunate. So onwards and upwards, always. And I want to say thank you to everybody who writes in. I don't often get time to respond to all of you. I, I do give it a few hours each day, but obviously, you know, I, I have to make videos. <laughs> when people write to me and say, oh, well, I, I've just got into the hobby. I've bought my first watch and I'm really um, learning and having fun and meeting people. And, and that's what it's all about. Why am I so happy compared to before? Well, it's, it's because I've learned to change my perception. I've learned to um, look at things in a more positive light and positive things will happen. Uh, I've also um, survived a, a lot of physical trauma um, and that has made me appreciative every time I wake up in the morning. I'm, I'm happy to be breathing, trust me. There is nothing worse and nothing more testing to one's character and spirit than being in an ICU surrounded by people that, are, uh, you know, I had one guy next to me that passed away in the night, he was fighting for his life um, and seeing his family there and, and, and you know, d dealing with these kind of things repeatedly, repeatedly make you stronger. I'm just happy to be alive. I'm happy to make videos, to share things I love and, and hopefully you share, share it a little, little bit back. And guys, always remember, 
one one thing of advice. If and this has really helped me, try and get into a routine of being positive and being positive to other people and just keep it moving. You know, like I always say, this fantastic Churchill quote, if you stop and throw stones at every dog that barks, you will never get to your destination. I think I, I messed it up slightly, but you, you get the gist. As for the, uh, the competition for the lovely Seiko, here it is. Um, there will be a link down below. The date and information of how to enter will all be down in the uh, description. A massive thank you to Watchbox for helping facilitate the giveaway. Uh, it's very, very easy. Oh, and guys, before you enter, don't forget to hit like on this video, of course. I mean, it's only manners, right? And good luck to all of you. I will announce the, um, the uh, winner in a video in January, so stay tuned. Stay positive, onwards and upwards, and all the rest of it. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, found it useful, and as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.